Positive socialisation skills are really important for dementia residents, both inside the dementia unit and outside the dementia unit, because if they don't get this practice of socialising, then their communication skills, the skills that they have left, can deteriorate very quickly. And of course, a big part of this equation is served by friends and family visiting. Socialisation through that, of course, is very important. But it's also important that they have other friends, not just their close friends, but other friends and other people to be able to socialise with, to get that experience of being able to communicate with various people and having the confidence to do that. And I actually found that outside friends and family, the social service community group that served the dementia unit best really, or most frequently, was the Lions and Rotary Clubs. They were excellent to the men in the dementia facilities I worked at. They were, they were very service orientated and they, when they visited, they made it a regular occasion. So they'd visit, if it was um, a Rotary member, for example, who was a resident at the dementia facility, he'd have two visits a week regularly, ongoingly, from the club uh, to be able to support him. Whether Rotary or Lions, I found them both were very good at supporting their members. And it's important because men actually find it more difficult to integrate into dementia facilities. Women seem to be naturally more social or more able to make friends when they're older for some reason. Maybe it's because they'll sit around and watch TV and talk to the person next door to them or talk to the lady that um, sits at the dining table with them or their next door neighbour. They're more likely to chat socially in a relaxing environment like activities of any kind really or even watching the TV. But men tend to not want to sit around as much and talk. They 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 roam around a lot around the dementia unit, often lost and disorientated, and they do find it hard to make friends with other men. I think it's because there's not enough activities at the unit generally to occupy them. I mean, for the women, there's so many activities, you know, make and create, they enjoy anything to do with their hands, knitting. They like cro crosswords, many of the w women, word games, and the, it's sort of hard for the men to join in that. I mean, they'll come to the newspaper readings, but they don't like anything much to do with their hands, make or create activities that the women are into. And also, women are the majority. So in any dementia unit, you've got the majority are elderly women with Alzheimer's. Maybe 70% of the people at the unit may be women. So there's only a handful of men. They're not the majority. The women are. So somehow they find it harder to integrate. So that's why, because of this difficulty of making friends at a dementia unit, it's important that they're supported by their old friends. And I have found that the old friends, those dementia residents that have belonged to either Lions or Rotary, those friends from those clubs support them regularly. It's such a fantastic help, a really, really big help for these men. And not just coming to the unit, but they'll be taken out regularly by these um, club, you know, um, participants as well, members. Actually, there was one resident who was um, from the Lions and he was high up in the facility, in the club. And these men from the Lions visited him regularly. He had a lovely wife. She was quite intelligent and very outspoken. And what actually, she was disabled though, she couldn't, her walking was, wasn't, her balance wasn't quite as um, integrated as it need to, needed to be to take the dementia resident out. So what they would, uh, worked out was that one of his friends from the Lions would come along with his wife to take him out so that because his balance in walking wasn't really um, up to being able, certainly not up to being able to walk independently. He really needed two people, one each side, arm and arm support when going out. And so the Lions Club made sure that on outings with his wife, there was always another person that would go with them so that she could be relaxed, he could be supported. And the Lions member provided positive socialization, practical support, 
and friendship. Fun and friendship being the important thing. So they're really very community focused and practically minded. I've found the Lions and Rotary are very practical. They understand, they seem to have an innate understanding of how to help, where to help, when to help. It's so, you know, valuable in a dementia unit. And all the men that have come in from both these clubs, they've integrated at the unit well, they're at ease, they're relaxed, they're fine with the other dementia residents, disability, memory loss, they've got no stigma or prejudice. They seem to just be able to relax in the environment and do what they need to do to best help their friend, which is the perfect friendship actually. And I think, you know, they're a great example of a community service that, you know, uh, goes through with their values, puts their values in action, you know, the, the um, values being of integrity and community service and helping others that are disadvantaged, well, they certainly bring those values through into action. And in that way, the dementia units are a lot better off because of them, in New Zealand especially. Many men do belong to either Rotary or Lions, so they do get tremendous support from these two groups. And I think that the way that they are able to be so generous with their time, patient and tolerance, easy, relaxed, friendly, they're a good example of how to be friendly with dementia residents and help with their positive socialisation. So all credit, all credit, thank you, to the Lions and uh, Rotary. So I've written these two books, The Resident's Voice and The Resident's Rise, both from a dementia unit. And the purpose of these books is positive solutions to help reduce stress for dementia residents. There's so many layers of stress that the dementia resident has to cope with. Their dementia stress, their dementia blanks, their dementia spin, and all the anxiety and stress of being in a dementia unit. So as much as we can help them practically and in a positive way with techniques to be able to settle their stress so that they can adjust and live in the dementia unit, hopefully in a happy way or at least a settled way and have a better quality of life as a result. That's why all these techniques and measures, these positive practical solutions are in both books and in these videos. So if you find these videos helpful, please subscribe, pass on the links to other people and thank you for your looks and likes and support. Thank you.